Hello, we are FTC Team 7105, and in this video, we will be discussing the summary page, table of contents, and control award form for the FTC Engineering Notebook. The summary page is very important because your journal will be immediately disqualified without it. The table of contents is not required, but it is a good idea to have one in your journal. The control award form is only required if you want to apply for the control award. All three of these go in front of the engineering notebook when you submit your notebook at competition. The control award and summary page must go on the inside of the front cover of your binder, and the table of contents should go in the binder rings. First, we are going to talk about the summary page. The summary page is very important because it's the judge's guide to your journal and helps your team stand out to the judges when you're no longer in interview. Your summary page should be one to three pages long, and it needs to include three things. First, it needs to include a short summary of your team. This summary should be about what you think makes your team unique and what you most want the judges to know about your team. Your summary page should also include bullets of what you consider to be the highlights of your season. Finally, your summary page needs to include the recommended pages. The judges look at your recommended pages to see highlights of your journal and season. You can recommend up to eight pages. You don't have to use all eight, but it is a good idea to. Once you've chosen your recommended pages, mark them with tabs on the top of the page. Then number the tabs either one through eight or with the page numbers. That makes it easy for the judges to find the pages. Now we are going to talk about the control award form. If you want to be considered for the control award, you need to find the control award form for the current season and fill it out. You can either print out the form and write in the information by hand or find a digital copy. Fill that out and then print it. Some teams put the form into a Google Docs and share it with other teams. So if you would rather type it, you just need to find an editable form. On the control award form, you first need to explain what objectives you attempt in the autonomous period. If you have multiple autonomous programs that accomplish different objectives, you should specify which objects you attempt in each different program. Next, you need to state what sensor you use and describe briefly how you use them. Next, you need to list your key algorithms and give a short description for each. Key algorithms are just the programs or parts of programs that are very important to your team. After the key algorithms, you must listen and describe your driver enhancements. Next, you need to give page reference for your engineering notebook. It would be a good idea to list the page numbers to all the sensors, programs, and key algorithms you mentioned earlier in the form. Finally, you need to make a diagram of each of your autonomous programs, mapping out what it does. Now we are going to talk about the table of contents. The table of contents should include any major sections you have and page numbers where each section starts. And then it should either include important pages in the main sections with their page numbers or subsections of the main sections and the page numbers of the subsections. This is just so the judges can see at a glance what each of your major sections contain. Here is an example of a table of contents from Team Lightsaber. Their journal is one of the four example notebooks FIRST provides. As a side note, the way they number their journal sections is very helpful. Instead of numbering the pages straight through the entire journal, they assign a letter to each of their sections and then do the page numbers for each section separately. And this is really helpful because if you add pages to a section, you don't have to go through and renumber the pages in all the other sections, which you would have to do if you were numbering the pages straight through. So that's it for the control award form, summary page, and table of contents. Thank you for watching this video. To learn about the engineering notebook, required sections, general format, and rules, be sure to check out our other videos.